then it looks like it's pitch dark, but it's it's actually a little bit a little bit light out. Um, the sun, I mean, it's still pretty much under, but I mean, still light enough for us to see. Today we're going out on the boat to do a little bit of trout jigging. We're gonna see if we can catch a nice rainbow. Not planning to bring it home or cook it, but if it swallows it, I'll keep it just because I don't want it to go to waste. Um, I try to keep them in here as much as possible to live, to keep them living, and to keep them, you know, nice and strong. Um, but yeah, I can't believe this is the first video with the boat. It's like crazy to think we got it a few weeks back, but I just been so busy I've never really began um, to do a video about it. But since I'm done with the Baxter trip, I hope you guys really enjoyed that. By the way, because I enjoyed that a lot. Um, now we're gonna just I think we should you know come back and do a little trout fishing just because we did a lot of trout fishing I mean like trout fishing never gets old but um yeah leave a like on this video and comment down below if you like me trout fishing or if you want me doing other things like pickerel or bass you like best um but I mean I'm fine to do whatever whatever um but yeah so we're out on the boat today um going out to the middle of the lake, dropping our drop shot worms down. Hopefully we can catch some nice rainbows. Ooh, there's some light to film, finally. All right, just get out to our spot. Um, you know, might as well, while we're at it, first time on the boat for you guys, let me show you a little tour. All right, so this is the battery right here that we have to haul up and down that giant hill every time. It's kind of annoying, but it's worth it. Motor back here. We usually put, we keep this area clear for the most part. And you put all our supplies up there. We got the net life jackets that I need to put on right now. Actually, I forgot about that. And some worms and some baits there. And all of our, and the food, we got all of our supplies and food. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's a nice boat. We've been loving it so far. Really nothing wrong with it. We'd have to make, we had to make a few adjustments. I don't know if you can see, but where the motor is, there's like a wooden board there, so it's not leaning against this back metal piece and it like tears the metal piece off. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I think I'm gonna get fishing now. All right. I know lighting isn't the best, but there we go. So we're using a little weight filled with a nice juicy worm. And all I'm doing is I get to this spot. You don't even really have to cast. I'm just, dropping it down until I see that it is um, fully down and kind of the line stops like going underwater. And then I just let it sit. The problem is you have to get past the bluegill. Oh, I just hit bottom. Um, because they just love to just eat your bait. And it's very annoying. Like we're gonna be catching a lot of bluegill and And guys, just look at this. Every morning we come out. I don't know if you can see that. There's swimmers. All the time. I don't know why, but like, they're just all the time. But one good sign, the fish are starting to bite. I mean, no, the fish are starting to jump. And basically, that means those are the bluegill that are jumping. And basically, we've always caught the trout around the bluegill. So. Whoa, guys, 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 look, look. Oh, yeah, it's the blue heron. And I have a giant weed on right now. Got one. Really? I think it's a trout. Yeah, it feels like a trout. Yeah, Malik. Alright. Yeah, it's shaking his head hard. Yep, trout. Alright, nice. She saw a flash. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good nice one. one. I'll bring it, I'll bring it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's a good one. A giant, a giant baby. All right. Really cold here. Here you are. No. Here you are. Oh my god. So cold. He came over. I know. Oh yeah, that's one of the biggest ones I've caught, definitely. Wow. She's been in the lake for a while. Yes. Hook just popped right out. Perfect. Boom. That means I think she's good to go. This one has got to be one of the biggest ones I've caught out of here. Oh. Calm down. Let me just get one shot of you. All right, then you're free. You can go back down. Just one shot. There we go. Beauty. Seems about an, maybe a 20 incher. It's a good one. Two pounds, I'd say. Two or three. Beautiful. Beautiful, Beautiful rainbow trout. Let's let her go. There she goes. She's on. Wow. Alright. I told you guys. Lace, you got one? Bite? We were gonna get we were gonna get one and it wasn't gonna be a sunfish. So there we go. Awesome experience. First trout of the day and first fish of the day. We usually catch the sunfish before the trout, but it's different now. Is that a fish? What? I just swear I just got butt bit, but it was in like the weirdest. It was like a, what the heck? Maybe it was a brown. Do I? I think I have something, otherwise... Oh yeah, that's a fish. It's a bluegill, probably, because it's not... Oh my god. And this is what we have to be dealing with when we're catching trout. That thing is as big as my hand. Yeah, this is a big one, though. Oh, guys, that's not even like, there close goes. to the biggest one. That's like one of the smaller ones. <laughs> got one? Yep. Oh, that's a huge blue kill. <laughs> Look at this thing. That's big. <laughs> this is what we call a two pound blue kill. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of this blue kill. <laughs> Late just caught. One of the nice things about this boat is that you can just kind of lay down in between these and just kind of just close your eyes. Especially when you wake up early, you're a little tired, but uh, you can just close your eyes and just fish. And then when a fish bites, you can probably feel it. Guys, it's a bald eagle. I think it's That's so cool. Whoa! Oh! He just grabbed the fish! That's so cool. It's a little baby one though. It's not that big. Let's see where he goes. Yeah, maybe he has a nest. Alright, well, um, it is. It's 8.30 right now. Um, yeah, I think we might have to call it. It's getting pretty hot. The sun is absolutely beating down on us. Um, and it's just getting a little busy. So I think we have to call it a day. Um, but I had so much fun out here. Like we saw that bald eagle and he went down for like a fish and everything, that was cool. We caught one nice, nice sized trout. That was a good one. 
Um, we did catch a couple other sunfish, so I'd call it a success. We we usually, I'd be, I was kind of surprised we usually catch more than that, but fishing is fishing. You really cannot, like, guarantee anything. Um, so, but that's just why it's fun, because you're not, like, you can't just come out here every day and catch five trout. That's not how it is. Sometimes you catch none, sometimes you catch just one, sometimes you catch a lot. That's the fun about it. It's always a surprise. Huh? Oh my. Look at this. I think this is from the bald eagle that we saw. It's just a feather. That's really cool. Why am I smelling it? I don't know why I'm smelling it. But anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. But I had such a fun time out here. I hope you had a fun time watching this. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Um, it would help me out a lot. And comment something and share this to all your friends. Comment something. I'd like to hear from you guys what you guys think about it. If you liked it, didn't like it. I'd like to hear anything. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.